guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. This is Adam, my fiance, and Twyla, our little baby girl. Anyway, we are heading out on another adventure, which we only worked out where we were going a few minutes ago. Yeah. We're heading off to Yay. We're gonna just park there for the night and stay there and then find somewhere maybe a little bit more exciting. Um, not, not that there's nothing wrong with Yay, but somewhere a little bit more adventurous uh, tomorrow when we've got a bit more time. But anyway, we are backing out of the driveway and heading off on another adventure. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we didn't make it to Yay, but we've made it to Broadford. We thought we'd just pull over here. Adam was looking up a few more places along the way and he found this place. And uh, basically it's a bowls club and you can camp here overnight for free. Um, they do, I think they might have some taps around here, but there is a toilet. It's about a three or four minute walk from where we are. And uh, it's got a lot of level ground. So if you're looking for somewhere just to stay overnight, just to get out of Melbourne. Um, yeah, so we're here. Well, let me take you around and show you. Now we haven't decided where we're actually gonna be parking for the night, but so far we've got this spot. We're just a bit worried about all the trees behind us with a bit of wind, they might fall on the van. And then we've got a bit of spot over here. That's the actual bulks club there. And that's the little meeting rooms over there. But yeah, oh, and then there's actually a caravan over here. Check that out. Anyway, let's go have a look around and uh, see where we'll end up tonight. Okay, so we've just moved the van. We're just gonna stay here tonight. There's security cameras around and all the rest of us. So I thought, oh, we might be just safer to stay up closer to the actual building itself. And then as well, we would, like I said before, we'll be worried about a few of the big trees. It's a bit windy and we didn't want them coming down us tonight. So yeah, we're just gonna get the barbecue out now and cook us some dinner. All right, mm. so we've got the table out set up. Adam made some rissoles the other night. So we've got those we're gonna cook up and um, I've got our whole van as our wind blocker. Uh, so the fire will hopefully stay burning. So all the meat's cooked and we'll just come inside. Adam's just dishing up salads that we had left over from Christmas lunch and dinner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have these tonight. Like I said, it's really windy outside, so we won't be sitting outside tonight. It's cold. We move the van <laughs> yep. just in case. We move the van to avoid the trees and then there's a now a Another van that's parked. Yeah. And under the same trees. So there's so. some other van lifers. I don't know if you can see it out there. Oh, there they are. In their black van. And um, they've moved where we've moved away from just because of the wind. But uh, yeah, Twilight's happy, waiting for food. And we're going to see if we can tune the TV and watch a bit of TV tonight. Oh, yum. It looks so good. Dinner is served. Yes. And what about Twilight? Oh, look. Look, she's straight over because she saw the food. <laughs> now, what are you going to do, huh? Come on. Are you uh, going to get up? Are you going to get up? <laughs> sit. Hey. Ah, uh, yes. She always does this. Uh, she knows where the food's at. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's watching every. Every little bit you do. Oh, a bit of pasta. Oh, I can't get it. So it's, uh, it's a bit of pasta. Uh, <laughs> spoiled. Mm. You're so spoiled, Twyla. We've got the TV working, so we're just going to find a channel to watch. And um, otherwise, oh, and check out these new wine glasses. I've got, I've got four of them, so if we ever have friends with us and... They are plastic. They look like glass, but they're plastic. So I've got... Oh, cool. I'm probably going to stop, stop us saying whenever we have friends. <laughs> whenever we have friends. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. We've got friends. So, yeah. So, they're our new glasses. And I am about to tuck in to this. Yum. More leftovers from Christmas. How amazing these little cheesecakes. Twyla, what do you reckon of these? 
What do you think, Adam? Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jen. We love them. <laughs> Now let's have our coffee and think about where we're going today. Let's, let's ponder in the bowls club. Ponder in the bowls club, yeah. Thanks to the bowls club for letting us stay the night. Jeez, appreciate it. So we're all packed up and ready to head into town, but let's give you a little review on this stop as if you're gonna be stopping over here at the bowls club. Um, Pretty much the only complaint we had, well, it wasn't even a complaint, was the trains. They went past and they were pretty loud when they did. Twilight, well, and if there's an annoying dog barking in the area. No, but when the trains went past, it did wake us up two times. It was like V-line train, or not V-line, so it's big, long trains. It's like a freight, a freight, freight train. Freight train. Oh, that's what they call them, freight trains. But um, yeah, they went past, woke us up. But besides that, it was really good um, and the bathrooms are like a five minute walk away and they're clean. So 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head into town and uh, check out the bakery. Yum. So we've just come down to the park at the end of the main street um, to eat what we got from the bakery. Everything in that bakery was huge. Like back in the old days when you used to get stuff from the bakery and it was actually a proper size. Yeah, check out this lamington we picked up. It's almost as big as my head. <laughs> it's huge with cream. It's amazing. Anyway, we're just gonna have these now. Adam, what did you get? Chocolate eclair, look how massive that is. That's my head. Yeah. <laughs> it's as big as your head. <laughs> so anyway, so we're gonna have these and then we're gonna um, check out more the um, like the Remembrance Shrine they've got here and they've got um, some old buildings. So we'll go check that out before we find the next place to visit. So on the other side of the road from where we were eating, they have pretty much a museum outside. It has plenty of boards so you can read all the information about all the different things. Um, this here is a very massive part of a machine that makes paper. So they used to make paper, I think from straw by the sounds of it, what it's saying on the sign. And then they had about, how many Adam? About 12 of these set up and they'd go through a different process and they would make paper. So how cool is that? But look at the size of this thing. Anyway, we're gonna keep exploring around here and then head off somewhere else, but this has been awesome and um, it's free. Tell us about this place, Adam. So this is a Mills Cottage. Uh, this is around 120 or 150 odd years old. Uh, essentially, it's like a slab cottage. They, from what we've read, they built some parts, I guess, off-site. 
um, it's essentially just well wood, the shingles are bark from the local trees um, and it's essentially just four walls, the roof um, and it would be a typical version of this, just, just a dirt ground as well and you have you know one or two families sharing this one, you know sharing this one house so at first thought you think oh it's quite small but then again we're in a van and we manage in a van <laughs> Yeah, so, we sure do. Plenty of space in, you know, in comparison. It's a lot roomier than our van. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot roomier. Yeah. So we just pulled over in Longwood. Um, we just pulled over the side of the road where they got their war memorial um, here and a cannon. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go check out. There is a pub up the road and there's meant to be a camping spot, free camping spot near that pub. So we're gonna go check that out and um, see if we wanna stay here the night. Otherwise we'll move on, but um, yeah, so far so good. So we've just driven down to the Longwood Reserve. We've checked on the Wiki Camping app. Um, we can stay here tonight, so we're pretty excited about that. And uh, we're just put up to a nice spot. We are gonna venture out again before we come back here tonight and camp, but we thought we just wanted to come check it out, see who's around. There's another van life that just over my shoulder. And um, yeah, we've just got this nice spot at the moment. We probably won't camp in this exact spot when we come back, only because we'll probably be a lot of mozzies because there is kind of still water here as you can see but we thought this would be a beautiful spot to stop and eat our lunch with a nice view all right well let's go have lunch yum We've just rocked up to the Goulburn Weir and we come down for a walk. Now this place is probably about 23 minutes from where we're camping tonight. We thought we just wanted to find a place to have a walk around and have check out a bit, some bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. There's a beautiful park. Plenty of people here having barbecues and um, lots of shady areas. So if you're looking for somewhere to come for lunch, this is a nice place. So the Goulburn Weir was completed in 19, no, not 19, 1891, where it was Australia's largest irrigation system uh, and it's been constructed, so, well when it was constructed, it was designed where the water can be raised 15 metres in height, um, allowing the water to run through the Goulburn Irrigation uh, Water System. So, start to finish. so what year was it finished? Uh, no, 1891. Oh nice. All right, let's go check it out.
So we just stopped off at the White Hart Hotel. Now this is in Longwood, so we're back where we're gonna be staying the night. Now if you wanted to leave your van over in the reserve, you could literally walk here and have dinner, have a beer, and then stumble back to your van. But we're only stopping for one drink, and then we're gonna head over and set up for the night and have a barbecue. But um, this is absolutely beautiful. They've got the nicest beer garden here. And um, tonight they're serving pizzas, but we're not staying for that. We're having a barbecue. But yeah, check it out. So nice. Adam's over there with Twyla. They've been playing fetch on the green grass and um, chilling out and having their drink as well. All right, well, cheers. So we're just back from the pub. We have found our spot at the Longwood Reserve. This place runs by donation, so it's an absolutely awesome place. Um, so you can donate money, I think, at the post office. And also there is a few different ways. There's a sign as you come in, check it out. Um, but otherwise, it's a gold donation um, or whatever you like to donate. And um, yeah, we've got the whole place almost to ourselves. We're one of two vans that are here and uh, they've settled in away from us tonight. Um, and we're over here, we've got our own spot. We can't even see them from here. So yeah, it's a beautiful spot. It's all flat. We've got a nice little spot. We, there's no balance, nothing here. And um, yeah, we're ready to settle in for the night, enjoy a nice barbecue and just relax. So I found a few of these signs around the park. It's just saying that they're trialing the camping here. So hopefully they keep it going because it's fantastic. And there's only a few little rules to follow. Nothing too major. It's all pretty much just being respectful and leaving donation at some of these places. Um, also, I found the toilets are very clean. So I'm gonna actually take you in to the toilet. And um, yeah, so you got the toilets here and you can actually donate right there. So you can pop your money in and donate. And um, yeah, they keep the toilets clean. It's a really cool place. Please, if you do come here, don't spoil it for anyone else because it's a great place and we'd love to come back. So yeah, thanks guys for letting us stay. It's Good one job. of the most deadly glasses of wine I've ever had. Look, this one you know you're camping. There is a spider in my wine. What the? Anyway, Twyla, what are we having tonight? We're having chops and little sausages. Adam's coming out with a fork so we can poke the sausages. And um, yes. Perfect weather for a barbecue. So we're just taking Twyla out for a nightly toilet run. <laughs> and while we're out, we're just checking all the facilities out. So here, there's a whole football field, as you can see. Twyla is loving it. She's on the long lead at the moment, running around. Adam's got her. And um, yeah, so she's having a run around here. Also, there's a netball court. There is some old tennis courts. I didn't see any new ones, there were some old ones. But you could probably still play tennis on there. Um, so there's heaps of things, if you bring your own equipment, there's heaps of things you can do. Um, but we're just going for one nice big long stroll, getting her knackered out before going back in the van, popping the TV on and having a early night watching some TV. But otherwise, it's really nice just watching the sun go down. A little tiny bit of a sunset. If you can see that, let me just touch my screen. There we go. All right, well, back to the van. So 
So this morning I'm cooking cheese toasted sandwiches in the fry pan just by pressing them down, a bit of butter and got my cheese on there and this is breakfast. So Adam is in the shower, I've had my shower, but why he's in there, me and Twyla have got this whole oval to ourselves. So we thought we'd go for a run and try not to get wet in the sprinklers. This place has been really cool. But today, after this, we're gonna head to do a bushwalk and we're heading towards Yay today because we're gonna go have lunch in Yay. We thought, we did say at the start of this video that we were going there. Um, we didn't quite make it there, but we will go have lunch. Anyway, Twyla, you ready for your run? She's not talking to me. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Twyla and I are back from our run. We had so much fun. Now look, if you're looking to stop over a night, they are just put in some clips of different things, activities you can do at the Longwood Reserve from netball to football to cricket, bike riding, all that. There's plenty of room around here. Just make sure you support the locals while you're here and leave a donation at the few points they've got. It says on the sign where you can donate, including the toilet block. So anyway, we're going to take advantage of this beautiful day Longwood's put on for us. And we're going to hit the road and see what else we can get up to. So unfortunately, this track is not for dogs, but it looks pretty exciting from the top. So I'm gonna head down and check it out and show you guys what to expect. And this is something you can do, obviously, if you don't have your dog with you. <laughs> um, Adam's back at the van with Twyla and um, he might come down after me, depending on my, depending on what I tell him what it's like. But so far so good, it looks pretty nice. All right, let's go see what this is all about. So check this out, I've got the whole place to myself. It looks absolutely amazing. Now there has been some people with towels, so I assume they're coming down here later to have a swim. Um, but yeah, oh, it is so magical. I'm definitely telling Adam to come down and check it out for himself. It is so beautiful. Look at this, absolutely stunning. So I've come down myself, Dean's back in the van. Uh, with this, I definitely recommend having grip shoes. As you can see, there are plenty of rocks uh, in the area. So if you want to check out the Seven, uh, Seven Creek Waterfall, uh, it's definitely um, worthwhile having uh, grip shoes for, to get good vantage points for photography and for filming. But definitely worth the visit. I'm four to miles back in the van with Dean, but I'm going to head back now. So, and then on to the next spot that we're going to head to. So we're here in Ye now and um, it is absolutely packed. Obviously a lot of people going back from their holiday, our Christmas holiday break. Also you've just got people probably leaving to go away now for New Year's, but it's absolutely packed. We can't get into the pub that we wanted to go to today because it is that full. The only tables they've got are inside and obviously because we've got Twyla, we have to sit outside. But 
we have managed to score ourselves a really nice table in the shade and they have a heap of these in yay which is fantastic spread all the way down the middle of their main street so you can normally pick up a table really easily and we found the fish and chip shop next to where we were going to eat so we're going to pick up some fish and chips come over here i've gone and got some nice bubbly because we're meeting up with friends and um, we're just going to enjoy our afternoon before going home here on the bench in yay we're back from yay now it was so yummy the lunch there our friends didn't want to be on camera so i didn't bother filming but I did promise you a few weeks ago that I would do a Christmas special, which we didn't get around to doing because we've been very busy. But what I have done is I've gone to my Instagram, which is kingdino underscore adventures, which you can go subscribe there as well. Well, we don't subscribe on Instagram, but you can follow. But anyway, I've put in a little video together of what we got up to on Christmas Day. So here it is. I hope you enjoy. Well, with that, I just want to say a big thank you for watching this episode. Now, if you want to help us out to grow this channel, please do me a favor, go down the bottom, like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about us and your family. We love doing these episodes for you week after week, and next year's only going to get bigger and better. So please come along with the adventure this year in 2022. And Happy New Year's, guys. I hope you had a safe Christmas, and I hope this year will bring you 
plenty of joy. All right. Well, see you next Sunday, five o'clock. Ciao.